Assalamu alaikum class i hope you are all fine in today's lecture we are going to do some properties our first property will be commutative law under addition commutative law under addition states that a plus b is equal to b plus a first we will explain it with two uh, numbers so we take two numbers on the left hand side i will write 2 which is a plus 3 which is b on the right hand side i will write 3 which is b plus 2 which is a so if i add 2 with 3 i will get 5 and also if i add 3 with 2 i will get 5 which means that the place of these numbers is not making any difference on the end result of your addition this is your commutative law under addition now we will apply this commutative law under addition on matrices so now class in question number 5 of exercise 1.3 we are going to solve the commutative law of addition in matrices we have two matrices here a 1 2 3 2 3 1 1 1 0 and b 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 1 3 what we are going to do is we are going to solve the left hand side of this property which is a plus b a plus b we will add these two matrices and addition is quite simple we add the corresponding entries of these two matrices so 1 plus 1 would be equal to 2 2 1 would be equal to 1 and 3 plus 1 would be equal to 4 now the reason for uh, uh, subtracting 2 with minus 1 is because we have a minus sign here so plus minus would be minus move to the next row we will have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 3 plus minus 2 plus minus minus so we will get 3 minus 2 which is 1 now 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and moving to the next row 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 would be equal to 0 and 0 plus 3 would be equal to 3 this will be our left hand side so now for the right hand side we will add b with a so this will be b plus a first we will write the matrix b 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 2 2 3 1 3 and then we will add a plus sign and we will write matrix a 1 2 3 2 3 1 and 1 minus 1 0 so again we will add these two matrices and we will add corresponding entries so 1 plus 1 will be equal to 2 minus 1 plus 2 would be equal to 1 1 plus 3 would be equal to 4 and 2 plus 2 would be equal to 4 minus 2 plus 3 would be equal to 1 and 2 plus 1 would be equal to 3 next row we will have 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and 3 plus 0 is equal to So now if we look at these two matrices we see that left hand side of our equation is equal to right hand side this means that commutative law of addition holds for the matrices So our next property is associative law under addition in associative law we have three matrices we will have three matrices instead of two matrices and we will understand this property with help of real numbers so let's take three numbers 1 2 and 3 i am going to write we have three numbers 1 2 and 3 so let's start writing this i will write in bracket instead of a i will write 1 and in plus instead of b i will write 2 and then bracket plus the third number is 3 similar is the case on the other side of the equation instead of a i am going to write 1 instead of b i am going to write 2 and instead of c it will be 3 now first we will solve these brackets 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and now 3 plus 3 will be on this side and again One will stay as it is. Plus two plus three is equal to five. 
Now 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. We can see that both sides are equal which means that associative under law and uh, associative law under addition holds. Same will be the case of matrices with the so now question number five has part eight which is associative law of addition in matrices. Let's do the associative law in which we have two sides A plus B plus C. We have three matrices here and A plus B plus C and we have uh, two uh, both sides we have A plus B here in brackets and in this side we have B plus C in brackets. So first we will solve brackets. We have to add A and B. I am going to add A with B and how do we add? We add corresponding entries 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus minus 1. We will have plus minus would be minus so we will have 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and here 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And again 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, 3 plus and minus we will have plus minus minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Again 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 plus 1. We will have 0 and 0 plus 3 we will have 3. Now I will add this matrix C with the addition of these two matrices and let's start adding this matrix with C and what we will have I'm going to first write this matrix which is 1 minus 1 0 and 0 minus 2 3 1 1 2 in the next step we will add these two matrices 2 plus minus 1 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 1 plus 0 we will have 1 4 plus 0 we will have 4 and again moving to the next row 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 1 plus minus 2 will be equal to minus 1 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6 4 plus 1 would be equal to 5 0 plus 1 would be equal to 1 and 3 plus 2 would be equal to 5 so this is our left hand side of this, this question and now we will solve right hand side and we will see if these two matrices. So now we will solve the right hand side and in the right hand side we will solve this bracket first which means that we have to add B plus C first. So what we will have we will move this uh, matrix right down here and we will write 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1. 1 minus 1 and 0 as it is and now we will add this these two mat this these two mat so let's add these two matrices 1 plus and minus plus minus minus 1 minus 1 would be 0 minus 1 plus 0 would be equal to minus 1 1 plus 0 would be equal to 1 and 2 plus 0 2 minus 2 and minus 2 would be equal to minus 4 and 2 plus 3 would be equal to 5 next row 3 plus 1 would be equal to 4 1 plus 1 would be equal to 2 and 3 plus 2 would be equal to 5 now let's add these two matrices 1 plus 0 would be equal to 1 2 plus minus 1 would be equal to 1 and 3 plus 1 would be equal to 4 2 plus 2 would be equal to 4 3 plus minus plus minus would be minus and we will have minus 1 here and 1 plus 5 we will have 6 1 plus 4 5 minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 0 plus 5 is 5. So this is our right hand side. From these two matrices we can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side which means that associative law of addition holds. So class in question number 6 of exercise 1.3 we have 2 into A transpose 
minus 3 into p transpose what we have to do is we have to solve this equation so first of all we will what we will do is we will put the value of a and then we will take transpose and then value of b and then we will take transpose and after that we will multiply it with 3 and then with 2 so first of all we have a matrix a which is 1 minus 2 3 and 4 then we have a negative sign here and then 3 into 0 7 minus 3 8 and then transpose I have put transpose here so let's start take transpose here how do we take transpose we change rows into columns or columns into rows so I am going to change this row into column which will be here we, I have row 1 minus 2 and I will write 1 minus 2 and this row also into column 3 and 4 this is A transpose now B transpose will be equal to 0 7 minus 3 and 8 in the next step we will multiply 2 with matrix A and 3 with matrix B so let's multiply 2 into 1 is equal to 2 2 into 3 is equal to 6 2 into minus 2 is equal to minus 4 and 2 into 4 is equal to 8 similarly 3 into 0 is equal to 0 and 3 into minus 3 is equal to minus 9 and 3 into 7 is equal to 21 and 3 into 8 is equal to 24 now 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 6 minus minus 9 is equal to 15 and minus 4 minus 21 would be equal to minus and 8 minus 24 would be equal to minus 16. So this will be answer of 2 into A transpose minus 3 into B transpose. transpose. Now this was our question number 6 and uh, it, it ends today's lecture and I hope you understood good. Uh, diary and PDF will be sent to you and thank you so very much and Allah Hafiz.